let's start from the beginning. And I mean the very beginning. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your childhood and growing up in Georgia, right? Yes. So I grew up not in the city either. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Georgia, which is already very much so the South, the Bible Belt, and um, north of the city. So I was, well, my family and there was one other family that I knew that was Asian in like our whole entire town. Yeah. So it was incredibly like lonely and isolating and it felt like I was getting bullied for bringing rice to school for lunch and I hated that. So I never did it again after that (laughs) because I was like five when I like brought rice to lunch and then everyone was like, ew, that's disgusting. Like, what is that? And so I just never did it again. They'd never had rice before? Right. Well, it was like rice and like bulgogi, which is like just like a Korean meat. Okay. And so it was just rice and meat. But right. everyone was like, oh, my God, that's disgusting. Like, what is that? Like, I bet you eat dogs. And like, I bet that's like a chihuahua in there and so on and so forth. And so I just never did that again. And then after that, I like really, really, really wanted to be blonde and blue eyed. Mm-hmm. And I would beg my mom for like highlights at least or like mm-hmm. contacts. And she constantly was just like, no, like, you're not getting that. You're seven. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not <laughs> dying my seven-year-old's hair blonde. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're fine. You'll survive. But um, I wanted that for a long time until really like adulthood. Mm-hmm. And then once I reached adulthood, I was like, okay, I, I'm happy with being Asian. Yeah. Because then I came out here, too. And I was like, whoa, there's a lot of other Asians. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know when you come to like a cosmopolitan city like yeah. L.A., there's all kinds of people here. My first concert out here, I literally looked at like around and I was like, oh, my God, there's so many Asians here. And my friend goes, yeah, we're in L.A. And I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> like this is unheard of in Georgia. Well, in my part of Georgia. <laughs> right. So did you always feel like so isolated because you were Asian? Like, did that always was that always present in like your everyday interactions or did it just surface sometimes? Well, there was always at least one other Asian, mm-hmm. but usually only one. Right. And sometimes that felt good because they were also like an Asian American that understood But sometimes it also felt even worse because then I felt not Asian enough. Like I remember so vividly once I reached middle school that there was another Asian girl that I met and her name was Karen, which is so funny. But she was like, oh, you don't speak Korean. And I was like, oh, like I I used to go to Korean school. And I so I know a little bit. And she was like, oh, well, I've been fluent, you know, forever and blah, blah, blah. And like now. So like I'm bilingual and. Yeah, so it can go either way. That's crazy, where you didn't feel like you belonged in either world. Yeah. That's got to be really hard. It's probably still something that vexes me, because I don't feel like American enough because of the way that I grew up, but I also don't feel Asian enough because I grew up in America. Right. And that's also just completely different than growing up in Asia. So how did that affect you? Like as a kid, were you withdrawn? Like, did you overcompensate and try to be more American? Like how, how were you? Yeah, I definitely tried to then fit in with all of the American kids, but then that all would just crumble when I would invite them over Mm -hmm. and they would see like the food that we were eating or just seeing the fact that my grandparents also lived with us and like Mm -hmm. helped raise us because that's kind of like a Korean tradition is that the oldest son in the family will take care of the grandparents in their old age. Mm -hmm. So they lived with us and stuff. So it was like a lot of people in one house. It was four, five, six, seven, eight people in a house. Wow. Yeah. Did you like that though? I loved it. You you liked growing up with a big family. Yeah. And I liked that if like my mom and dad weren't home, it's like I had second parents. Like my grandparents were basically my second parents. Mm -hmm. I would rather like spend time with them than my parents really even Mm -hmm. so I was always downstairs because my dad had completely like decked out our basement for them and it was like a whole house down there and I just Mm -hmm. had a blast like they would let me ride my bike through it when it was still concrete so I would just ride my bike in the house and it was it was the best 